uh, right okay then um my question is how to use the lightning component as a tab okay so here you can find there is a thing called force a force table okay this is uh, also an interface in it implement mm -hmm. all right and one thing so do you know about the dom tree what is a dom tree have you mm. do you have any idea okay so mm. dom tree is basically see whenever a component uh, it's the uh, salesforce background architecture we, i mean the data structure what they follow to store all the information okay. all right so they maintain a tree like uh, data structure which is called as dom tree dom means document object model all right okay okay Okay, let's. Document object model. See, first here will be a root node. Okay, initially there will be a root node. Mm -hmm. So whenever a component is created. it will add it in the tree okay component all right again if after that if there is a child component of that uh -huh. then what will happen okay all right so this way whenever a component is being added into the data, data structure it will be added as a node all right in the tree so this is what a dom tree and every node will have the information about a particular component okay got it okay all right so let's let me explain one more thing here so let's say here we have other components as well okay next shares one all right so let's say there are three components component 1 component 2 and child component so this child component is the child component of component 1 and in the other side of the tree it is the in the right nodes right side nodes the component 2 is there all right so let's say we want to make the communication from component 1 to component 2 okay listen carefully we need to make the communication from component 1 to component 2 so in this scenario which event should we choose it's a application event or it's a component event as they are both are independent i guess correct so, yeah. so that would so be a yeah right that would be an that application be the application yeah correct correct okay so do you have a idea about the packages so what is the package and all uh yeah. as a java developer i know but i am not sure about this means in the okay so yeah it's like the java as well so the package okay. means whenever you create a package for a particular package a dom tree will be there If you create two packages, then there will be two DOM trees. Two DOM trees. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So let's say we have a package, package one, and also one more thing. This component event and application event only work inside one package. All right. Okay. If the comp two components are present inside one single package, then only component event and lightning event will work. Otherwise, it will not work. so now my question is let's say we have package 
Do. All right. So now my question is how to communicate between component two and component two two. Okay, they are both entirely different packages. Right. Right. So we cannot use the uh, application event here. So what we can do okay. is we can use a pub publisher subscriber model. All right. Okay. So we can implement the pub pub sub model using Lightning message channel. So there is another interface called Lightning message channel. So if you can implement that, okay. the notifier component will publish it in, into the message channel, and uh, the component two two, which is the receiver, will take it from the Lightning message channel. I mean, it will receive it. It will subscribe. It will continue continuously subscribe to the channel. So if something new appears on the channel, it will take it. Okay. All right. Okay. Communication between two components from different terms. Lightning message channel, which means the pub sub model. Okay. All right. Now I will be discussing about what are the phases. Okay. I think the meeting will end in ten minutes. So. After it ends, I will create a new one. All right? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. No problem. Phases of uh, component and application event. Okay. So for a component event, we have three phases. One is bubble phase, bubble phase. Sorry, if the first one should be the int phase, init phase during the initialization, then a phase called bubble phase, and finally capture phase. And I will tell you what all these are. Yeah. Uh, you are sending this document to me, right? Uh, Perfect. Yeah, I will send. And for application event, there are four phases. Okay. One more phase is default phase. Okay, so I will explain one phase. All right, each phase. So let's say we have this. Okay, this is our DOM tree. All right. So here, see, as I told, the child component will always for let's say for the component event. All right. So for the component event, the child component will fire the event, correct? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and let's say that this component is a leaf node of this tree, and the child okay. component fire is firing an event. So now, what will happen? The event will will propagate up up to the up the tree, from bottom okay. to top. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And in this parent component. All right. I think I don't have so much space here. It has the handler. Okay. Is it a handler class or something? Uh, it's the event handler. All right. Okay. Event handler. I don't have much space. Okay. Just a minute. Mm, all right. OK, 
okay so here i am just making it as h so this is the handler for the parent component okay so the uh, event will be propagating from bottom to top and whenever it meets the handler the event propagation will be stopped at there mm -hmm. got it okay yeah so when the event is being propagating up from bottom to top that phase is called bubble phase because it is bubbling from bottom to top all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay so i'm just making it as bubble phase event propagates from bottom to top all right Okay, so the when the bubble phase is completed, the capture phase will start. So what uh, uh, does the capture phase do? So the capture phase is what is doing. It is just capturing the event which is bubbling up from bottom to top. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So here I am writing capture phase. sharing the event where from child all right placed at bottom so here one thing to note here is the child will always be placed at the bottom i mean yeah. uh, it will be yeah. down than parent all right all right okay hmm. okay let's say so this is all about the uh, uh, component event all right component. so mm -hmm. let's say talk about the application event so let's say we are uh, uh, communicating child component 2 and component 2 2 all right so whenever the first phase will be init phase and that's all because the component is being initialized so in it in it phase will there yeah mm -hmm. all right so now again the bubble phase will start here right correct so it will fire the the notifier will fire the event it will come to the component one two and it will check if the uh, handler is present or not but this handler is pre not present in here this is present in component two two correct correct yeah. so it will not find any handler and it will reach to root node two root node two so the bubble phase is completed capture phase is completed and till and still the handler is not found mm -hmm. so now the default phase will start and the uh, default uh, phase is from top to down to find if to handler down. is present present or not yeah. okay so here the default phase will start for application event from top to down to search for yeah tell me so you mean you mean like uh, the default phase will always been there uh, from for top the, to bottom and the right correct correct and the other three one is always been from the bottom to top uh, no for the capture it is top to bottom again okay yeah yeah sorry yeah capture is there also from top to bottom. right all right only the bubble one is correct so you so you are clear with this architecture right right yeah correct all right okay so i am just stopping the video and i will just send you one more invite because it's the free one right so it will stop yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right yeah thanks yeah thank you